Good morning, Ms. Associate General Counsel. How are you? I'm fine, Mr. General Counsel. How are you? Great. I have some bad news. One of our employees has reported potential securities law violations to our compliance office. What does this employee say? He claims widespread accounting fraud. So what? Isn't that alarming to you? Well, no. Surely. You understand that our employee is a potential whistleblower under the Dodd-Frank Act of 2010. You know what that means. Look, Sally. I am handsome and powerful. I am not concerned with your statutory definitions. I pay you to know these things, and this conversation is starting to bore me. So if you want me to listen, you should get to the point. Okay. In a nutshell, Dodd-Frank and the SEC's rules provide that an individual who voluntarily gives original information leading to an SEC action with a million-dollar judgment is eligible to receive 10 to 30 percent of that judgment. The whistleblower gets some of the money. Yes. I don't like the sounds of this. What does voluntarily mean? Voluntarily means just that. Information provided under subpoena, for example, would not count. And what about original information? It must be based on the whistleblower's independent knowledge or independent analysis. This conversation is making me angry. The depth of your misunderstanding is staggering. I want to fire you, but I am obviously uncomfortable with normal robot interaction. Tell me, what sort of information counts? Good question. It must be specific, credible, and timely. What? About this million dollars? The threshold can be met by a total of civil money penalties, disgorgement, and prejudgment interest. Why didn't this whistleblower go straight to the SEC? He could. But many whistleblowers report potential violations internally first. Why? Do they do that? The rules are written in a way to encourage internal reporting. Can anyone be a whistleblower? Are you a whistleblower? No. I am not. And no, not anyone can be a whistleblower. For example, attorneys may not use client information to make whistleblower claims themselves. We can be thankful for small blessings. What is our guy's name? Jimmy. Jimmy Olsen. Sounds annoying. I would like to fire him now. You can't just fire a person for providing information under these rules. What will happen if I ignore that provision? I don't like it. Well, Jimmy could sue and recover double back pay for time he was out of work. Please require future employees to waive these protections as a condition of their employment. No way. Won't you do anything I say? I will do things you say, but not that. Why not? The Exchange Act prohibits requiring a person to waive compliance with its terms. Oh, dear. What should we do instead? We should review our internal compliance program and foster an encouraging atmosphere for would-be whistleblowers. That way, they will feel like respected members of the team and not be inclined to run off to the SEC. I think you are smug but perhaps right.